Here is a photo of a milpa, or maize field. Milpas are measured out with four corners and four sides, then cleared and planted. Likewise, before the creation begins, the Popol Vuh mentions that the four corners and four sides of the sky and the earth were measured out, just like a milpa. So, the earth is also a maize field, and humanity the maize. Let us look at the life cycle of the maize. The seemingly lifeless seeds are quickened in the earth and begin to grow. At this young phase, it appears to dance in the wind. Then, it develops the silken female part where the ears of maize will grow. At the top are the tassels, the male part of the plant. The ears form and become ripe. The maize is harvested. The plant is literally decapitated to accomplish the harvest, and the seed removed, ready for another cycle. In the Popol Vuh, Hunapu and Shibolanke tell the grandmother Shmukane that the ripe ears of maize planted in the center of the house will be a symbol of their death and resurrection. They then travel to Shibalba. They pass through the six houses of torture. They voluntarily die, are ground up like maize, and cast into the river. After five days they appear as fish in the river. Then they come out as orphans, dancing like the young maize plants. Finally, they are transformed and rise as the sun and the moon in the heavens. Here we see the young maize god emerging from the plant. Here is a man dressed as the maize god and dancing, like the young maize plants and like Hunapu in Shubalanke. While gods may repeatedly die and be reborn, humans do not. So what can this myth refer to on the human level? Perhaps by examining the representations of the maize god, we might find a hint. On this funerary urn, we see an ear of maize on the forehead, the third eye. Here, we see a jaguar carrying an ear of maize on its head. When we go back to the Olmecs, we see a maize plant growing out of the forehead. Here is the key. The maize god myths must refer to man's dormant third eye. But what is the regeneration of the third eye? Where do we find the maize cycle in human psychology? What inside man can repeatedly grow, die, and be reborn to grow again.